Next question from Emmanuel Oricio. Yo, Adam, nice chops. My drum teacher says that chops are useless and there is nothing musical in them. What do you think? <laughs> nothing musical in chops. That sounds like an overstatement either by your drum teacher or by you. That is, that is oversimplified, that's for sure. I think there is certainly a sentiment from people who missed the, the chop train in like 06 or whenever, whenever gospel chops and all that, that YouTube stuff started popping off. I think people that missed that, that boat and never got into chopping or shedding and the idea of flowing around the kit, you know, they tend to go a little bit more of the, the purest musician route where it's all about serving the audience. It's all about pocket and groove and making people dance. And that is the role of the musician. And listen, that's not a, that's not a flawed perspective. If that's how you look at music, then sure, that's fine. That that's it's okay to feel that way. It's also okay to purely be attracted to drums because of chops. If that's what you want to do, and that's your relationship to this instrument, is going in a room even by yourself and sitting down and just playing chops for hours, it doesn't invalidate your musicianship, right? It, I don't care. Like it doesn't make you any less less of a musician as I define a musician. You're a person who plays music. And you enjoy the, exp the expression that comes with sitting down and playing chops. Now, if you define musicality along the lines of musical performance that is intended to entertain other people, well, yeah, playing chops is like objectively less entertaining, especially to non-drummers. Like, I don't know who you're trying to impress with just playing chops. Drummers are the only ones that care about that. But it doesn't invalidate like musicianship as a whole. I think it depends on how you define musicality. There's also all these beautiful hybrids. I'm really talking in extremes right now when I say it's like the choppers versus the like pop giggers or whatever. Like it's, there's all of these hybrids in between. I would consider myself a hybrid where I enjoy sitting down, shedding, chopping out and playing non-musical like rhythmic vomit for an hour. I love that. It's one of the things that I love most about playing the drums is just freely expressing through the language of rhythm. I love that. It's probably my mo most favorite thing about playing drums, but that doesn't mean I have an inability to not express myself that way and to fill a role uh, as, as in sitting in with a band or to play like a basic rock groove for an hour. I can totally do that as well. So they're not mutually, mutually exclusive and you don't have to have these harsh lines. So I think a lot of this comes down to like, weirdly like a little bit of ideology that, that is within the drum industry because I, I, maybe you took your drum teacher out of context a little bit, but I would be surprised if any real professional drum teacher said chops are not musical because it's a matter of time before you find yourself on a gig where you're required to play a chop. And like, what are you going to raise your hand and be like, excuse me, I don't think that's very musical. Like, dude, sometimes you got to play like a, a little bit busy of a fill. Um, and I also think if you are, if you are quick to dismiss the idea of connecting rhythmic ideas and flowing them together like you would do in a drum shed, <clears throat> I think there's an argument that you are missing something. Just like the guy who sits in the shed all day, if he's quick to dismiss the idea of simply holding a groove and what value that can have to the musical community, you're also missing something. There, there's value in both of these things. So <clears throat> my argument would be to strike a balance between the two. You know, It shouldn't be about all, all one or the other. I don't like the distinction of like, I'm a chops drummer or I'm a groove drummer. Like, who cares? Just, you know, you, you should have an ability to touch all of these worlds. Preferences are certainly okay, but you don't have to separate them to, to such a degree where we're playing this, this ideological team game, right? Where there's the real musicians who know it's all about pocket and groove and paying the bills. And then there's like these chopping guys who just, it's so, it's so silly. It's so ridiculous. So if your drum teacher actually gave you that quote, that chops are not musical, wrong. That, that's oversimplified and it, it's truly not addressing like the heart of the issue. We could do a whole podcast about this specific thing because this is a weird team deal that I've seen people, um, I don't know, they, they, they use it like an attack sometimes. Like you're mm. just a chop drummer. Like I've heard that before. Ooh, could we like, do like, all right, uh, chill. We, we bring purists on the podcast and just have them debate like <laughs> Joe, Joe Rogan style. I want, just... I want Tommy Igo versus Chris Paprota. Like, <laughs> you know what? I, we did, uh, this is like the third shout out that we did, but if you want to get Tommy Igo and Chris Paprota on the podcast for this, mm. oh my God. There's a lot of opinions that, that I think are valuable in this conversation. Yeah. The whole crew of like those genuine purist choppers, Mason Guidry, Chris Paprota, Andy Prado, Forrest Rice, 
among many, many other people. Yeah, man, th those guys, I'd love to hear some of their opinions on this as well, because they're really so far down like the the chop shed wormhole. Mm -hmm. But um, also they can outgroove half the people listening to this. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll take that one a little further one day. It's an interesting topic for <laughs> sure, for sure. Thanks for watching this clip. If you enjoyed it and you're looking for more content like this, or if you're just looking to make yourself a better drummer, I think I can help. At the link in the description, you can start a seven day free trial to my online drum school. It is drum school in the style of Netflix. You'll find 160 hours of content there. Trust me, you will find something you like, and I would love to have you on board. I'll see you guys there.